Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. I know how we're giving you a big afternoon. This is Let's Talk About It with Selena. About Town Media Broadcast Station, ATMBS 5280. We are here for you. We are the voice of the community. And we are broadcasting live right here in this beautiful sanctuary. I mean, I think this is a micro incubator of a serious Christian movement going on right here in this community. Yes, yes, Isn't that right? Yes, yes. yes, I'm here with my sisters. I'm Heather, Heather P. About Town with Friends from About Town Media Broadcast Station, ATMBS 5280. Abouttownmedia.airtime.pro. You can type that out or you can go to tune in and select About Town Media and uh, we will pop up. I want you to click on that, download it, and listen to us live. Yes. We're also on YouTube and you will find us on Let's Talk About It with Selena. That's the big capital S E L E N A. Selena. Selena. <laughs> She's actually our pastor yes. here at Ladder Glory, and we love her. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hello, I'm Pastor Selena. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and who is your fearless armor bearer right there? Co-pastor. Ruthann, say hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Yes. Co-pastor Ruth, that's right. Yes. Ruth is in the Bible. We love that name as well. Amen. And Selena also. I know. I don't think Heather's in there, but I'm in there. <laughs> yes, you. I'm are. in there. I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm in there somewhere. That's right. <laughs> hey, and I want to thank Mitchell Rivers, who yes. is our video man with the mostest, Kate Productions. If you see him all over town, and they're like, "Who's that guy with those great curls?" That's him. That's our guy. That's him. That's right. And he's doing great things for us all the time. We have some wonderful guests in the house today, too. So I yes. want you to go and get your coffee, and then we're going to get to the Word, because we want you to start off with some manna. Manna from the Word. Yes. And uh, you yes. know we're on our what? On our Psalms challenge. So we want you to do one Psalm a day, but today we're going to catch you up, and we're going to do two Psalms and a proverb, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do. All right. Psalms 3. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us break the band asunder and to cast away the cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in diversion. Then shall he speak unto them to his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, thou shalt dash them in pieces like a pot of vessels. Be wise now, therefore, O you king. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, let his, let his, lest he be angry, and yet ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are they that have put their trust in the Lord. Psalms 3. The Lord protects his people. The Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. I laid, I laid me down and slept. I wait, for the Lord sustaineth me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. Amen. 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 And then we have a Proverbs. Yes, Proverbs chapter 3. And I'm reading from a good word, God's word. 
My son, do not forget my teachings and keep my commands in mind because they will bring you long life, good years, and peace. Do not let mercy and, tr and truth leave you. Fasten them around your neck, write them on the tablets of your heart, then you will find favor and much success in the sight of God and humanity. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path smooth. Do not consider yourself wise. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then your body will be healed and your bones will have nourishment. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with, yes. your, with the first and best part of all your income. Then your barns will be full and your vats will overflow with fresh wine. Mm. Do not reject the discipline of the Lord, my son, and do not resent his warning. Because the Lord warns the one he loves, even as a father warns the son with whom he is pleased. Blessed is the one who finds wisdom and the one who obtains understanding. They profit, gain from wisdom is greater than the profit gained from silver. Its yield is better than fine gold. Wisdom is more precious than jewel, jewels, and all your desires cannot equal it. Long life is in wisdom's right hand. In wisdom, left hands are riches and honor. Wisdom's ways are pleasant ways, and all its path leads to peace. Wisdom is a tree of life for those who take firm hold of it. Those who cling to it are blessed. But wisdom, the Lord laid the foundation, by wisdom, the Lord laid the foundation of the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep waters were divided, and the skies dropped dew. My son, do not lose sight of these things. Use priceless wisdom and foresight. Then they will mean life for you, and they will grace your neck. Then you will go safely on your way, and you will not hurt your foot. Then when you lay down, you will not be afraid. As you lay there, you, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror or of the destruction of wicked people when it comes, the Lord will be your confidant. He will keep your foot from getting caught. And do not hold back anything good from those who are entitled to it. When you have the power to do so, when you have the good thing with you, do not tell your neighbor, go away, come back tomorrow, I'll give you something. Do not plan to do something wrong to your neighbor while he is sitting there with you and All suspecting right. nothing. Do not quarrel with a person for no reason, wow. if he has not harmed you. Do not envy a violent person. Do not choose any of his ways. The wow. devious person is disgusting to the Lord. Mm. The Lord intimate advice with decent people. The Lord curses the house of wicked people, but he blesses the home of righteous people. When he mocks the mockers, he is gracious to humble people. Wise people will inherit it honor but fools will bear disgrace. Amen. Amen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was, woo, are we full? What do you think, ladies? Are we full? We're full. We're full. <laughs> there was a lot going on there. Yes. There was a lot going on there. And, and oh, we here covered on, we yeah. covered us. Oh my goodness! <laughs> now, now that was actually your whole entire instruction for how to handle the holidays. Yes. Definitely. If you are a woman, and we are, you know, how many how many caps do we do we wear? I mean, a lot, a lot. A like lot. if you're, you know, now you're you're doing great things and <laughs> being a pastor, leading a church. But but who are you also? I'm a mother and a wife. That's a lot. A sister, a auntie. She said a sister, <laughs> an auntie. Friend. A friend? Yes. A friend indeed. We wear many hats. Many hats. So what do you, what do you think about that, Sister Ruth? Um, wearing all the hats. When we wear the hats, we just have to be careful that, that we don't over extend ourselves in one area. We have to learn how to put everything in this order and not to overdo. Sometimes right. we, we do too much. We stress ourselves, we stress right. our family. We have to learn how to cut the edges. Right. Cut the edges. I like that. I have to read Facebook that. Yes. 
We're on Facebook, About Town Media yes. Broadcast Station, ATMBS 5280. We're on Facebook. Facebook us. What did we say? Trim the edges, or did you say cut the edges? You said cut and trim, <laughs> cut and trim. Isn't that what we do as women? Yeah. We do some of this and we do some of that. And yes. it's just not, you know, easy, speezy. It's just not black and white. I hate when people say, just spit it out. It's black or it's white. No. I, I, I hate that. That's don't right. You? Me too. That was the word of wisdom that she gave us. Cut it, cut it. Because we overdo and we get burnt out. Then we're not, we're no, we're no good. We're not useful. Then we've spent all this time doing, 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 doing. doing, doing. So. But sometimes we overdo, overdo, and then <laughs> it ain't just for us, but our husband, our kids, yes. friends. Sometimes we find ourselves getting short because we put in so much, we've done so much. Definitely. We don't mean to, you know, to speak quickly or whatever. It's just that sometimes we're in overload. Yes. Overload. <laughs> Facebook that. Overload. Overload. Yes. Okay. So I mean, that's that's important. That is important. So, hey, we have some guests in the house. Yay! And they're going to be coming up. And then before we do that, let's talk about some revival. But I do want to give a big shout out to Miss Bonnie Elders. <laughs> <laughs> With BE Productions. And we've got our girl, Miss Jen. She's in, Danielle. Danielle. She's in the house with us today, and they're going to be talking about it when we come back from our break. But before we do that, I want to talk about really quickly here, Revival. Revival. We talked about it last yes, week. Yes, yes. Why is it important and what you expect? Go yes, ahead, it's re Revival, a spiritual awakening, amen, from Apostle Cabello all the way from South Africa. And we're looking forward for this city being refreshed. Revive and an awakening, restored. restored. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're just excited about it. Amen. We want you to put the word out. Help us put the word out. Come and, and be a support. Let South Africa know that we we are Coloradians and we do things in style. Amen. <laughs> and how the Rocky Mountains. Ooh. And the dates are November the eighth through the tenth at seven o'clock. Amen. Sharp. You don't want to miss it because you might. You might not be able to get a seat, amen, or a parking okay. space. Now, where are we going to have it? Are we hoping to have it here? Yes. And then if we outgrow here, we're going to announce where yes, it's going to be going? Yes. All right. 3, I think you said something that we're going to be having like 10,000 listeners. Yes, yes. South Africa, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Cleveland, Chicago. Yes. So we're excited. Very excited. What is going to happen when a revival comes? Here it is. Latter Glory Ministries. I just want to... You know, get a good shot on that, Mitchell, if you can, um, because this is important. I mean, first of all, we're reaching out to our brothers and sisters yes. across the land. Shout out to our sister radio station, About Town Media Broadcast Station in Gaul, Senegal. Mm Heidi -hmm. Peterson, she she does it right for us over there. And uh, this brother here is from South Africa. Yes, yes. What is going on? Is there a movement happening? Yes, he has never been to the uh, Denver, Colorado area, so he's very excited because it's the first time that he ever been to our region and uh, and where we are. And wow! So it's something new. Amen. 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 So he's bringing and he's very excited and he's been praying and fasting for our city, for Amen. our state. So that's another excitement. Okay, praying so and fasting. That God will move and mm. show himself mightily, mightily in this city. So we want to see God do something supernatural, do something yes. different. Mm. I believe that we're hungry and we need something. We want God to, you know, you can hear about Tussles and some of the other southern states and some of the state back east saying that they the Bible Belt. You know, they God's country. How come we can't be God's country? We are. We're Amen. in the mountains. <laughs> so I look to the mountains. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So now, I think we're almost ready to take a break. We're going to take a quick break, and then we're going to bring our girls on, okay? And I'm going to get the coffee started, because coming up, I'm going to give you the greatest tip about how to handle some of this holiday craziness, right. okay? Revival, Ladder Glory. Revival. Revival. All right, and we're going to go to break. Yes, thank you. <laughs> awesome. 